Hey guys, Curious Hobbyist here. Welcome back to my channel. We just found this pullback car at our local convenience store, and I decided to do some experiments with it. It also has some pellets of hard candy inside. They were similar to runts if you've ever had those, but they weren't sour. Instead, they were just plain sweet hard candy pellets. But then I found out that it has this function where if you roll the car backwards, tension builds in the back tires. Interestingly, there does seem to be a point where they start clicking like this and can't accumulate more tension. But when I rolled the car back on the ground, it sometimes started slipping as tension built up. So sometimes, it's easier just to roll them back manually. Luckily, the tires are connected together with metal rods, so you only have to roll one of them backwards. But when I released that tension to try and get it to move, this was the result. So this thing definitely does not go very far. And it's for the same reason rolling the car backwards on the ground doesn't easily get them to start clicking. A lack of grip on the ground. I'm assuming that this might be because the tires are just plastic and they're not made of rubber. So here's an enhancement that you can make if you have one of these cars and have the same problem as I did. What I'm going to try doing, I'm going to cut the neck of this balloon into four rings and then wrapping them around the tires of this car. Using a sharp pair of scissors, cut the neck of the balloon into four band shaped pieces. Three, four. Then wrap each one around one of the car's tires. Last one. Uh. Once you've done that, you can neaten them and or remove any folds in the latex. And those are my finished tire covers. Do you think they'll work? Let's find out. Another thing is that when you roll this back, it previously didn't do a good job of actually turning these tires, especially because there's this tension, but now it's actually able to turn. That seems promising, so let's test this again and see if there's any difference. That is awesome! So you saw that it wouldn't even travel a foot before. And look at what it can do now. It's much easier to use, and much more fun to play with. It also has this dump truck feature. This is the door you need to open to get to the candy. Another thing that I wanted to try is blowing it up with baking soda and vinegar. Obviously, the door isn't airtight, but maybe I could find a way to seal it. So I tried filling it with water to see if it would leak elsewhere. And it did. I couldn't find where the leak was, so it might be somewhere inside. So I'll try disassembling it to see where the leak might be. First, I flipped it over to look for a way that I could do this. There aren't any screws, but instead, there are three of these blue things. So I tried to get through those, and then I was able to pry it open, revealing three holes in the base plate for three plastic supports that are melted at the ends to keep the base in place. On the base plate, I also saw this black housing with some white plastic cogs, which I'll get to in a second. Also, there's this blue piece of plastic on the inside that acts as a platform for the candy. It keeps the clear plastic windows in place, and the windows keep the top door in place. It would be extremely difficult to completely seal that, so I'll scrap the baking soda idea. Then I was able to bend the back of the base plate to free the back wheels, which the black rollback system housing was attached to. That's evident by the fact that if I spin it and let it go, it starts spinning back. I was able to pry that apart, exposing the cogs inside. I removed the large cog, exposing this metal coil. The way the rollback tension system works is that the coil is twisted with this slit in the large cog, which is turned by the small cog which is attached to the metal rod that holds the two back tires. I also managed to twist and pull one of the tires from this rod. Then I decided to remove the metal coil and unroll to see how long it was, and later I straightened it out and it was slightly under 12 inches. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, please like it, share with family and friends, subscribe for more interesting content, and comment below. As always, thanks for watching.